Hi everyone, Bob Black with Spider TV, another in our continuing series to introduce you to the new names and faces of Spider Basketball. And today we're going to do that with Yale transfer Noah Yates, who is new to us, but is certainly not new to college athletics and to college basketball. Noah, first of all, a public official welcome to the Spider family. Thank you, thank you so much for having me. Really happy to be here. So if I went back four years ago when you went to Yale as an undergraduate, if somebody had said to you, hey, I can look in my crystal ball and four years from now, you're gonna be at the University of Richmond and you're gonna be playing not football, which is what you intended to play, but basketball, how would you have responded to that? How would you have figured out how you got from a Yale football player to a Richmond basketball player? You know, I probably would have told you that you're crazy. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's pretty, pretty funny how everything works out. Uh, Definitely not the usual college experience, I'd say, but I mean, I'm just super fortunate to be able to be here right now and in the position that I'm in. So really, really just happy to be here. Everything's worked out really well for me so far. I think it's fairly well documented, your story, but let's take our audience through it a little bit. You did go to Yale originally, and you were a terrific three-sport star in high school, football, basketball, baseball, but your intent was to play football, wasn't it? What happened there? Yeah, so I, I was recruited uh, mostly for baseball and football coming out of high school. Um, you know, things happen, you know, got to take it all in stride. Um, but so I ended up at football, uh, at Yale playing football. Uh, was playing tight end, a little bit of wide receiver. Uh, but I was plagued with injuries uh, for most of my two year career playing football there. Had a few surgeries, you know, it was definitely frustrating times here and there, doing a lot of rehab and all that good stuff. Um, but so I ended up stopping playing football at the end of my sophomore year in the spring. and. I knew a few guys on the basketball team and uh, met, met a few of the coaches and they invited me to start playing pickup with them and you know they told me to work out over the summer if good things will happen uh, so just keep working hard and so I, I took that and I, I started working and you know they were, they were fortunate to, to let me on, on the team uh, my junior year so I, I was able to walk on. And there was a really special moment for Yale basketball before you became a part of the team that really opened your eyes to Yale basketball, wasn't it? Oh, absolutely. So, you know, I, I think most people remember when Yale beat Baylor, you know, and a couple years ago in the tournament. I was actually on spring break uh, that year watching the game in uh, Savannah, Georgia uh, airport. Um, so that, that, was, that was really special. I don't know if that was maybe the final straw that was thinking, that, you know, this is maybe what I want to do. Um, but it definitely did not hurt uh, hurt my decision at all to, to try to make the transfer over. Tell us what type of player Noah Yates was for Yale and what Spider fans can expect to see. Yeah, so uh, at Yale, you know, I was just trying to fill any spot that I could. Uh, just I was happy on the team, working hard. You know, when, when Coach Jones uh, let me on the team, he told me, you know, you're probably never going to play. You know, we get, recruit guys every single year. It's, it's definitely still a high-level program in the Ivy League, um, especially with the recent successes that we had. So he said, don't expect to play. Come, come work hard and practice every single day, but he's like, I would be crazy if you were good enough to play and, I'm, and you're sitting on the bench. So, you know, I'm a competitive person. Uh, I was just looking to work hard. I, I ended up playing a lot of uh, power forward, the four, four spot for us this year, which was definitely an adjustment for me coming from my high school career. But, you know, I, I looked to space the floor. Uh, I'd say three-point shooting is probably my, my strongest uh, asset. Um, but, you know, I, I think, uh, here I'm really looking forward to like dribble pass shoot you know it seems like a, there's a lot of interchangeable parts here you know I've been watching film get, getting used to the system uh, playing with the guys a little bit so it, I think it's it's going to be a really good fit here. The expectation in this case as a graduate transfer in most cases it's one year I know the expectation here is that it could be two years for you how advantageous could that be to kind of ingratiate yourself for more than just a, a one-year process? Oh, absolutely. So a lot of the time you see with the grad transfer, it's kind of like a rent, rent a player for a year. If it works out, it's, it's great. If it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. You get the scholarship back for the next year. But with two years for me, I feel like I can really uh, develop and, and hopefully add a lot to the, to the team over the next couple of years. We got a lot of young guys on the team this year. Uh, so it looks like, I mean, we got a strong base coming back and hopefully that we're just going to keep continuing to build for the future. How much do you miss the football or the baseball? Because as we said, you excelled at, at all of those sports, which is a great thing for an athlete in this day and age. Yeah, and I, I mean, I definitely miss it. Uh, you know, it's 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 tough to, to give up some of your passions, but you know, I, I, basketball is, is, I mean, it's the best sport to play, you know, it's, it's, it's like none other. So, I mean, it's just trying to take every every day in, in, a, in stride, you know, and just enjoy it. Enjoy that I'm here and I'm healthy right now, so. What do you think the next two years will be like? Let's wrap this up with kind of giving you a blank canvas of what your, your expectation is both on the court and off because you will be taking graduate studies, I know, in, in the finance world. Is that right? That's correct. Yeah, so I mean, 
it, it, trying to trying to find a balance. You know, basketball has, has been great so far. The Atlantic 10 has definitely stepped up from the Ivy League, so I'm really looking forward to being able to play and hopefully have some postseason postseason experience. You know, I want to obviously be able to contribute as much as I can in whatever whatever role they they uh, they want me to. I'm I'm happy to do whatever it takes. Um, and then. Obviously, I want to keep pursuing uh, getting my MBA in finance, and that's something that's really important to me, academics and, and moving forward in, in my uh, career. So, All right, sounds good. Welcome again. We look forward to seeing you out there on the court. Awesome. Thank you so much.